today I have Jacqueline in did I say that right? Jacqueline yeah. in the building. Yes. <laughs> I have her in the building, you guys. You guys, I'm gonna tell you all about what she does. We're gonna ask her a lot of questions and we're gonna get this mukbang on. I'm gonna say grace and we're gonna get it in. Absolutely. Okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. <laughs> I brought my gloves. <laughs> Look, y'all, y'all know I don't need no gloves. Oh, I gotta do a thumbnail too. Okay. You know about thumbnail. Okay, well, I'll do the thumb, thumbnail. Okay, okay, you can just grab a, a king crab. Okay. You just smile pretty. There you go. <laughs> Got it. She's so cute, y'all. Look at her. <laughs> makeup is big, and she did her own makeup. She ain't yes. go to no makeup artist. <laughs> I was like, Dad. So what's the what's the uh, dealio on the makeup? Who taught you to do that? You saw self talk. Self talk. Yes. Girl, what you do? Look, watching uh, YouTube video? Mm -hmm. Yes. <gasps> and the thing is, I've always been into basically all things beauty. Okay. Yes. And so um, it went from me learning how to do my own makeup to now getting ready to release my own makeup line. <gasps> Actually, okay. it's, a, it's a, co a whole cosmetic line. Okay, so yeah. you gonna, are you going to be doing a lippy and all that? Everything. Everything you can think of. And I'm excited about it. Okay. Yes. I've been working on it for quite some time okay. now. Okay. And, um, you know, but I believe good things comes to those who wait. Yes, so. it does. Yes, it <laughs> so does. I'm excited about it. Can you tell my, um, my supporters a little bit about who you are? Absolutely. Well, uh, my name is Jacqueline Carr. Mm -hmm. I am a gospel singer. I am an entrepreneur. I'm a speaker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an author. I do all of that. I travel every week uh, spreading the gospel of Jesus, whether mm -hmm. it's through speaking or singing. Um, I started singing at the age of five years old, speaking at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, I've been going strong. Um, I had my first Billboard charting song um, at the age of 15. Mm -hmm. And um, I have had eight number ones before the age of 21. Wow. So, yes. Y'all, that's inspiration <laughs> right there. I'm telling you. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. So, my thing, your, your first uh, video, your first speaking engagement, was at what age? 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Were you afraid? No. <laughs> you know the Holy Spirit was going to just cut. Yeah. You, you know, and, and I've always been a bold person. Mm-hmm. And so the stage is like my second home. Mm -hmm. So when I'm up there, I'm doing what I love to do. It's a blessing, you know, Good. to be able to not only just do what I love to do, but to travel the world. Yes. You know, touching so many people. And At so, such a young age. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And this book. So you own a book already? Yes. The name of the book is You Will Win. Um, mm -hmm. I have a song that is called You Will Win mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, the book was derived from the song. Okay. And so it, the only difference is the book gives you more in-depth information on how you can win. Okay. You know, because I say all the time that a lot of us, we know that we're winners, we know we're overcomers, but very few of us know how to live the life of a winner. Okay. And so in this book, I teach you how to win in your health, okay. family, of course, your dreams, mm -hmm. whatever you aspire to do and to be in life. So there's just so much information all in this book. Wow. Yeah. So it's like motivation. You motivate me. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That's one thing you will, you'll see about me like um i'm more of an inspirational person uh -huh. motivation really getting you to see where you belong you mm -hmm. know um it's not god's will for you to live in poverty all of your life you know and it starts exactly. in, it starts in your mind and so once you change your mindset uh -huh. then eventually you will change your reality wow yeah okay that's what's up <laughs> y'all gonna be some motivation today because <laughs> i'm gonna leave all that down in my description box where you guys can go find her book <laughs> And everything. So, I'm going to let you eat a little bit. No, you're, you're good. You're fine. <laughs> so, my thing is, are you working on any new music? I am. You're doing a lot of stuff, huh? Yes. I actually just uh, did my live recording here in Atlanta, mm -hmm. October 5th. Mm -hmm. And um, the name of the album is Changing Your Story. It's going to be out in 2020. Okay. And I'm extremely excited about it. Like, wow. I'm really excited. It was at Praise in the Park. Mm-hmm. Um... And so it was just a great experience. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. So my next question is, mm -hmm. do you write your own music? Mm -hmm. Okay. All of wow. our writing, mm -hmm. all that is in-house. We okay. have our own publishing company, our own record label. I'm an oh. independent gospel artist. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 22. 20. <laughs> 22? Yes. Listen. 
missing at 22. I didn't even know what I was going to do. But, 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 this yeah. girl got it all together. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Thank you. That is, I'm for, that's really inspirational for even older people to look at you, to see that going. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing you can't do. Absolutely, you know. So do you think the social media helped you, you know, helped your career a little bit? Um, more? It was a part of it, I think now. But um, this kind of all started back when I was 13. Because okay. I traveled the world for two years before um, my music uh, took off. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of all that that led up to it. Now social media is, you know. Yeah. But, but yeah. you know, I think most importantly, radio. Mm -hmm. My music being played all across mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Look, when, after this, I'm gonna be like, man, I need to do some more work. What, what do I need to do? What do I need to get into more? <laughs> it's like when you be around people that motivate you, that, that mm -hmm. has it going, it's like you wanna do more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Venture out some more. Yeah. But that's what's up. So I know you I know you work with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. Gospel artists. Tell tell them some of the people you have worked with. Um, as far as album purposes, mm -hmm. all of my albums, um, Mostly, most of the time, I just J. Uh huh. But I do get a chance to see a lot of great artists, you know, everywhere I go, whether it be award shows. Uh -huh. or we may end up on the same event. Okay. And anybody who knows me knows that I love the legends, mm. the Winans, okay. the Yolanda Adams. Okay. I mean, I, I love the legends. Okay. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> so, who was you looking up to when you were younger? Like, did you have anybody or I that would, you, like, really, like, ooh? I would probably say my mom because okay. um, my mom, she actually sang with their sisters, their family group for, okay. like, for years Okay. Um, before she started traveling with me. Mm -hmm. But um, I come from a singing family, all of that, singing, speaking. Mm -hmm. Writing, you know, wow. what you name it. So yeah. the gifts is that all mm -hmm. the gifts is there. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was my inspiration. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Which brings me to my next question. Do mm -hmm. you have any brothers or sisters? I do. Mm -hmm. I have an older brother, Alan Jr. Okay. And my um, the middle sister, she is a year older than me, Alondria. Mm -hmm. My younger sister, Naraya Smith. She's the youngest out of all of us. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's three of you guys, or four. Of us. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So did you? Uh, so did anybody else do the music, or everybody blessed with the music, <laughs> musically voice? You know, music my brother voice? he plays a little bit. My sister she can sing. Oh, so he plays uh, instruments. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, but he's married, has children. Okay. And all that now, um, my sister she sings a little bit. She um. It's kind of on the shyer side, mm -hmm. so she tried to, you know, help my dad with the administrative because my dad is my manager. Okay. Well, he wears a lot of hats. So. I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, and then of course my mom, you know, all the singing comes from her. Oh side, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> wow. So y'all staying busy. Mm-hmm. Y'all going and going and going. So yeah. my thing, what? How do you find the time to settle? You know, just mm -hmm. to have a, just to have a social life. You know, I think you make time for what you want to make time for. Yes, you do. And um, <laughs> we learned before all of this happened mm -hmm. that prioritizing and balancing was key. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if when you're in demand, you're just in demand. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you have to take that time to get yourself together because you're not a robot. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to rejuvenate. Right, exactly. And all that so that you can have more to give. If right. not... You're going to run around. out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then when you balance, balance gives you longevity. And right. Longevity. Exactly. And so being able to take the time, even when I'm home, mm -hmm. you know, I like to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, I love going to the movie theaters, which by the way, I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Uh -huh. Um... I love hanging out with my family. Okay. Yeah, my entire family would get together sometimes and we would play volleyball and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm not really an outside person like uh -huh. that. So, um, you know, um, I try to stick with inside. Inside thing. <laughs> inside activity. <laughs> yeah. Relaxing mm -hmm. and watching movies. Mm -hmm. See, that's mm -hmm. my type of thing. Mm -hmm. I like to... I'm well, you know what? I like to do like sight tour, you know, mm -hmm. do to, you know, touring and and, and vacationing and yes. like things like that. But mm -hmm. I'm not a person that's adventurous like that. Really? No, I don't like. I'm not gonna do no skydiving. I do indoor <laughs> skydiving. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not doing skydiving. No, I'm not. I got a long life. <laughs> <Right. plan. laughs> but 
when I do go, when we go on vacation, I do like to do things that I don't do at home. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. Like, when you're there, you're definitely contemplating. But, you know, I'll be like, I don't want to be like, I wish I had a did that. Right, exactly. There. Like, this year, we did, uh, we vacated in um, Costa Rica. Mm. And it was so much fun. Wow. Got a chance to... Do the monkey, um, monkey calls and just see the all the animals. Oh, that sounds nice, though. Nice. Mm. Yeah, and it's, wow. it's, all that is on my Instagram. It was really? so funny. Like they played a prank on me and uh -huh. made it seem like the the monkey had peed on me. Oh wow! I went bananas. I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. But yeah, it was it was great. I mean, you always have to have a fun, you know, because mm -hmm. when you're working so hard, you have to have that balance, mm -hmm. you know, having fun and really taking it easy sometimes. Mm -hmm. But the, I think the longer that you do this, like being business for yourself, look, you mm -hmm. got it, girl. <laughs> that that that's the winner right there. Mm -hmm. But as long as you do this business, it's like you 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 find you know how to balance more. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because then, in the beginning, girl, it's, it was hard. You know, when you mm -hmm. started, first started, you're like, okay, how do I do this? Mm -hmm. How do I balance this out? Mm -hmm. It's not easy. And I guess it helps, too, when you are your own boss. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, you control your own That's schedule. It. And it works out even more, you know? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, when you're your own boss, you know, yeah, she's right. Mm. <laughs> Man, you can make your own schedule. Ain't nobody putting the schedule. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You let them know, okay, I'll be there on that day. I'll mm -hmm. do this on that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> so, you didn't get it. You get into the makeup line. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me what. Uh, so, how long you been working on that makeup line? It's been quite a few months. But the thing is, you know, it definitely takes a lot of work. But I believe that one day I'm gonna look back mm -hmm. and be like, it was worth it. Yeah, all. it's you true know? because it's. Go ahead. I was gonna say because my whole thing is, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I want to do it big. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. And that's my goal. Mm -hmm. And so um, there is no turning back for me. True. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right and be it. <laughs> As you see, you made it, you're doing everything else. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't doubt. I know it's going to be big. Mm -hmm. My thing, I, like, like I said, when you, any, anytime you start a product from ground up, mm -hmm. it is a lot of work. And like even when I started made this sauce, it took me over a year to get this sauce into produ production. Mm -hmm. Trying to make sure that I got the right manufacturing mm -hmm. companies and they ain't trying to screw me over. Right. You gotta have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Money, money, money mm -hmm. to get products like this so people don't understand the time, the effort that yes. it takes to mm -hmm. be able to, you know, start a product from ground up. Exactly. But like you said, when it's all done. It's mm -hmm. your baby. You yes. be like, wow, yes. it already came. Thank God, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a blessing. You yes. know what I'm saying? Especially when it sells. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because, yes. listen, we went to look for the sauce, uh -huh. and it was sold out. Yes. In three and so, a half days, yeah. 10,000 units, y'all. I, I just thank God for that because, man. Mm -hmm. But it'll be back on sale, y'all, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I was going to say something. Oh, when you was talking about the product, uh -huh. and it's not also it's also about you wanting to be hands on. Yeah, yeah. And my whole thing is, I want to release product that I use myself. Exactly. You know, I don't want to sell you anything that right. I I can't stand to use. Right. You know, I want to be able to um, for it to be my go to mm -hmm. for me, me to be able to wear it. And so, mm -hmm. you know, with that being said, you want to be hands on. Yeah. You want to know what they putting in exactly. here, what they doing. Exactly. And I, I get it, especially mm -hmm. with your with the food. Oh yeah. And the sauce and stuff. Exactly. Yes. Because that's your name. Mm -hmm. That's your brand. Listen. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm like man. I be like look at. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all. Y'all just don't understand. It just it takes a lot of time, but it. Man, sometimes I get impatient. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. when is going to ever happen? You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? You can't oh, yeah. get impatient. I think a lot of business owners uh -huh. have been there or are there. Yeah. Um, because especially when you're aspirational. Mm -hmm. um, and I know even for myself, I'm very aspirational. It's like once I've gotten one thing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm ready to move on to the next thing um, while that is still working. You wow. Know I mean? Yes, and yes. so it's like when you... Are in the process of building mm -hmm, it. You're like, mm -hmm. when is this ever mm -hmm. gonna happen? 
happen, but mm -hmm. you know, you have to be patient. Um, and I tell people all the time, anything that comes overnight mm -hmm. is not, um, it's, it, it's, there's no longevity. It's not going to sustain. Right. But when you mm -hmm. take time and you build that thing right, mm -hmm. you're going to have so much longevity and you know how to appreciate it better. Because Absolutely. you think about everything that you went through mm -hmm. just to produce your vision. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> That's so true. It's like literally birth and forth the baby. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. real, with the pain and all, y'all. But when y'all, <laughs> when it's all said and done, you just as happy as ever, ever. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. that's amazing that you're doing all these things <laughs> in your life. My thing is, now when are you going to, like, family life? Do you want to get married? I are you okay? Mm -hmm. You okay? You didn't choke, did you? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> it went down the wrong pipe, y'all. That happens to me all the time. That happens to me all the time. So make sure she okay. Okay. To you answer your family? question, mm -hmm. I do. Uh huh. I want. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got it, y'all. You want? You Got melody. It got melody in it. Um, Melodies. But yes. <clears throat> You know what? I'm gonna. You, yeah, let's. You wanna take a break? Yeah. Bring it back. Okay. Okay. Now, do you want the family? I do. Mm -hmm. I actually want a big family. I come from a big family. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom's side, dad's side. Mm -hmm. Big family, and mm -hmm. so um, I kind of want that for myself. But of course, you know, in the right timing. Yeah, but what, what, when you say big family, how yes. many kids you talking about? Um, right now I don't have a number. I know more than three. <laughs> So really, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, girl. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, one thing you gotta do, you gotta have that time to set aside for the kids. For the kids, you know when you know when they growing up and the, and everything. Mm -hmm. But I, I think you do good because yeah. you you got you you very you know say successful mm -hmm. and the kids again have that to look up yeah. to. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Yeah. So my thing. So did you ever? So when you was going to school, did you get homeschooled? I was homeschooled. Oh, okay. From, yes, from fourth grade on out. So my, your mom did it, or yes, mom and dad. Dad helped mostly with the math and the. Oh, that's, and, that's that's what's up. Teamwork. <laughs> yes. How long your parents been married? Uh, they actually just had an anniversary on the twenty first. Uh huh. So it's been twenty four years. <gasps> Whoa, mm -hmm. twenty four years. That's what's up. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And 24 years seem like forever because me and my husband have been married for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, I don't even remember. It's like I've been with him forever. <laughs> forever, mm -hmm. ever. But yeah, that's a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And they did y'all. So they, they did, the whole family did it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So did you ever want to go to regular school, like public school? I, for me, homeschool was a huge blessing because, mm -hmm. number one, I'm not a morning person. Okay. Right. And so, you know, although, of course, I was still on the schedule with my homeschooling, mm -hmm. it wasn't as bad as public school. And then, two, um, I was able to travel and do what I love to uh, do. Mm -hmm. um, I'll never forget, um, of course, you know, everybody has a prom, 12th grade. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have a prom because I was homeschooled. Mm -hmm. But around that same time, Ebony Magazine was honoring me as one of the most influential people in the world. Wow. So I was like, I'll take that. I'll take that too. I'll take that too. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a girl. You got something to be. Oh, that's you got a lot of blessings <laughs> that happened to you. That's good. So, my, do you uh, do you go around and do speaking engagements still? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of what? There would be a lot of uh, youth or who do you 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 know just any or anywhere? It's, you know? it's a mixture. A mixture. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely a mixture. It's a balance. Now, what do you do? Let me just ask you this. What do you do to get prepared for that sermon? Tell us, walk us through that, mm -hmm. you know, when you're trying to get prepared for it. Well, I tell people all the time, you know, each assignment, well, I call them, I don't call them dates. I call them assignments. So right. each one is different. Uh -huh. And, of course, I always have to get in the presence of God to see what it is okay. to release to these people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, exactly. Because everywhere is not the same. So, exactly. And so what is it that you want me to get to them so that they can, mm -hmm. you know, be, their lives can be changed? Mm -hmm. And so... Um, main things just getting in his presence, you know, whether it's meditating and mm -hmm. you know, all that good stuff okay. so that I can hear okay. properly. And so yeah. that's how you get the word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get your word for that. Okay. That's what's up. 
And so when you and what and what the what is it that you do when you're trying to get a song released? Do it just automatically come, or you can be sitting down or mm -hmm. cleaning, and all of a sudden you hear a tune, or mm -hmm. God give you a, you know, the Holy Spirit give you this this saying or mm -hmm. what? The interesting thing about me is a lot of my songs are not planned. Okay. Um, I could be on the stage singing another one of my songs, and then a new song is birthed. Wow. Um, I could be speaking and then I'm flowing and then a song is birthed. Um, I could be laying in a bit like one of, one song off of my um, the album that You Will Win is on. Mm -hmm. It's called When I Show Under God. A song called Stay With Me. Mm -hmm. That song came from a dream that I had. And that never happened to me before. And wow. the thing about me is I'm a dreamer. So mm -hmm. at night I'm having multiple dreams. Mm -hmm. But... You know, when you have multiple dreams, you don't really believe. I mean, I believe, but uh, remember mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. So this particular time, I woke up and the song was still in my head. Oh, wow. And so I was like, ah, it must be a message that I wow. have to release. And so now people all across the world saying that is their favorite song. Or, oh, wow. You know, um, they it, really love the song or whatever. But all of my songs are not planned. Mm -hmm. they, they just randomly come, you know. So how, what what songs? So you some of the songs that you have hit that um that wasn't planned and you did, they became hits, mm -hmm. haven't they? Yes. So my thing is, which one? Which one is your favorite? Of all of all your songs. All of my songs. Mm -hmm. Um, this one is not played often. Well, I don't think it's played often, mm -hmm. but it's off of my Greatest Coming album, and it's called "You Won't See the Wind or the Rain." Okay. Uh, because all of my songs, I'm basically, if you know me, you know, like, Ja'Kalen goes hard. Like, mm -hmm. all, th those are just all of, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. And so, but this song is just, it's like, it's a message from God to his people, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, of course, encouragement, inspiration. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a song where it just really make you think, you know, yeah. and, and really trust the plans of God. And so, that's probably why it's my most favorite. Wow. Yeah. So mm -hmm. my thing, I know, like me, I'm a very emotional person, and when I'm in, you know, in worship, I am a crier. Mm -hmm. I cry, 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 because mm -hmm. my emotions are just so, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in tune, mm -hmm. you know. And so how do, this is, I always wanted to know this, how do you, are you emotional? Sometimes I am. Okay. Yeah, I think it's 50 50. For okay. Because, yeah. like, when you sing your songs, you ever get to the point where you just like, it's you mm -hmm. tearing up, really like, oh, you. I can't yeah. Yeah. stop. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, how do people balance that? Like, mm -hmm. I'll be all like, oh, you know, crying so much. But mm -hmm. that's what's up. But, but my thing is, you are, you have, she has an amazing voice. You have an amazing, Thank you. amazing voice. Thank you. I mean, just blessed, beyond blessed. <laughs> Thank you. And it's amazing to see how far, you know, where you have gone. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing um, some of your preaching engagement when you were very little, mm -hmm. very young. Yes. And, I, and I mean, that's when I where said it all this, started. Yes, years ago. I was <laughs> like, whoa, look at this uh, powerhouse right here. <laughs> Thank you. It was like, wow. <laughs> but you are so, you're so mature for your age. I get that a lot. You Thank very, you. I mean, she just got an old soul. It's like, wow. <laughs> Thank you. That is crazy. I'm like, and wow. It wasn't planned. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least by us, mm -hmm. by me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you so have you ever thought about doing uh thought about getting into um acting or mm -hmm. I actually um that's another thing that mm -hmm. um another dream of mine or slash gifts. Mm -hmm. Um and um I actually was featured in Green Leaf. Um Oh yeah. yeah I <laughs> Yes, and that was a lot of fun, but you know, we're definitely getting more into it. So, yeah. so, but how do you go into character? Did you have you ever done acting before? Before that, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, so did you did you take any acting classes? No, girl. <laughs> so I think it's all about you putting yourself in that particular person's yeah, shoes. We don't. You know, yeah, it is. But you know, I think that's how you perfect the role. Uh -huh. you know? Um And I, I stud, I not only not only watch movies because I love movies, uh -huh. but um, I actually study uh -huh. how the particular actress or actor is 
has basically put themselves in the role of the role that wow. they're playing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it just makes the role even better. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it just projected. Just that is really funny. Well. <laughs> you know what? Cause, um, me and my family, we be pretending like... Uh, that we acting, mm -hmm. and we're like, and sing. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? like, And we be sounding horrible. I'm mean, like, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really put my all into this scene mm -hmm. right now, but right, right, right. it don't come out right. That's why I said it. And then, not to mention when you have a whole room full of people watching you. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, and you don't know if you're gonna say that right, so that's why I say that's gotta kind of, you know, mm -hmm. be kind of nerve wracking, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? It's funny because um, my siblings and I, when I was younger, mm -hmm. we used to uh, set a camera up and we used to act like we were, you know, uh -huh. acting or whatever. We would have our different roles. You're going to be this, you're going to be that. Yeah. I, would, I would be the director. Like, I, would, <laughs> I had wow. to be the director of the choir, uh -huh. director of the movie, like all that. <laughs> but it's so funny. Wow. You know, it's all just coming back around. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's fun, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's interesting to see yourself in a movie mm -hmm. play back because... When you're in that scene, it's like it's totally different. You don't see what you see around you, but when right. it's on TV, you're like, wow, that right. was really good. Right. <laughs> and then me too. I just gotta make sure I look good on camera. Uh. You know? <laughs> like, you need to give a good time. Right. But <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So what 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 are the favorite movies you like? Like you like comedy, mm -hmm. you know, what type of movies do you like more more? Tend to I love comedy. Mm-hmm. My most favorite is horror movies. Horror, um, okay. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I can't movies. take that because I'll be so really scared. Like, <laughs> my emotions are too much. I'm just too much. Oh, wow. Um, I love thrillers. Like, one of my favorite th mm -hmm. thrillers is Don't Breathe. So good. You haven't seen that? Mm -mm. You have to see it. Wow. It's, it's not so much scary. It's, mm -hmm. it's a thriller. Okay. Um, what else? Horror movies, comedies. Action, mm -hmm. action, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what would you play? Would you, would, can you see yourself playing a really serious role, or maybe a horror? Yeah, I, I can see myself pl definitely playing a serious role. Really, but in a horror movie, because I feel like, and this is just me, <laughs> I feel like you know they make horror movies so I can holler at the TV. Right. <laughs> And I'm like, every, every time, you uh -huh. notice, like, every time when they running from, you know, the mm -hmm. person, they fall. Yeah. I'm like, yes. hey, out of all things you could have did, then right. when you fall, you stay there. Like, get exactly. up. Exactly. They, they, they slow and moving. Yes. That, and then they split up. Uh -huh. Like, now, whose idea? <laughs> whose idea? So, so basically, because you, you do that type of role, you be like, you uh -huh. know they're going to be screaming at the right, TV right, at your right, <laughs> right, I'm like, get you know, it's all we gonna apart. Stick together, yes, do this. <laughs> One can chase a thousand, <laughs> right? <laughs> so yeah, but I can definitely see myself playing a serious role. Look, comedy. Uh huh. I can see myself playing it, but I'm so goofy. Oh, are you? Yes. So by nature, you just naturally goofy. I'm You're natural like, okay, like, okay. But but that might be that's probably a good thing. It's a good thing, but I'll be laughing at everything. Like, you know, I we'll love it. Start I love to laugh, but I love it when somebody someone is naturally funny uh -huh. as opposed to someone trying to make me laugh. Oh, okay, you okay, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. there's a lot of naturally funny people out here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I would I would giggle. <laughs> giggle, right. <laughs> wow. You know what, y'all? We almost time out, but you, we gonna talk a little more because I'm gonna um, cut some parts out. But mm -hmm. I'm putting that right there. Okay. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, any last things you would like to say before we cut out, leave? Well, thank you so much for having mm -hmm. me. This is so great. We've watched her for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so glad I got a chance to taste your sauce. Thank you. <laughs> Did you like it? I love it. Good. My good. sister was like, make sure you give me some sauce. <laughs> she can bring, I'm going to say, let her bring some home. Take right, some right, home right. With her. Yes, but this has been so great. It's Thank great. you. I appreciate you coming. You're you guys, welcome. check out all her things. And I'm going to leave all her um, information down in the description box below. And of course, you can always give me the update of your makeup when you release it. Absolutely. And we'll add that too. But go check out her music. 
Thank you guys. She's very anointed. Okay, y'all. My camera went out. But anyways, you guys, go check her out. I'm going to leave all her stuff in the, in the description box below. All her music, you guys. I'm telling you, you'll be blessed. And I'll, even your book. Your book mm -hmm. is on what? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Barnes and Noble. So I'm going to leave her uh, the, the name of the book, the title of the book, um, down there as well. So you guys, on that note, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Let me know what your girls is doing on this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. Peace, love, and hair group. <laughs> <laughs>